Well, today we have a special topic for you. It's called staying a step ahead mm. of the enemy. Amen. You know, I always tell Kemi, I said, we're not in heaven yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not. You know, in heaven, there's no enemy. There's no rebel out there. It's all, everybody all having allegiance and worshiping the Lord. But That's on true. this side of heaven, on earth, Amen. we have a rebel that's loose. The Bible calls him a devil that looks locks around like a roaring lion, looking for whom he will devour. And so it's important for us to to be aware of that and to plan accordingly. So today, there's a scripture that we have in Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven. And do you have it there? Yes. Can you read it for Second Corinthians chapter two, verse eleven? We won't. Yeah. So that we won't. It says this is so. That, that we won't be taking advantage right. of mm -hmm. because we are well aware of his schemes. It's to give it in context, Apostle Paul mm -hmm. said to the Corinthians, he said, mm -hmm. I want to make sure that I forgive that person. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't forgive, we open up the door for the enemy to come in. He says, So I'm forgiving the person that has brought this to happen to your church, and I forgive because you forgive him. Mm -hmm. He said, This is so. That you can be aware, that you can won't be taken advantage of by the enemy because we are unaware of because we are well aware of his schemes. So that means when you are aware of the schemes of the enemy, then it means that you will not be taken advantage of. So that's why we want to learn more. It's gonna be a series, I don't expect us to finish today, but when you become aware, know the enemy. It helps you to make sure that he's not going to take advantage of you. You know, the quote that I have, mm -hmm. I love this quote <laughs> by Sun Tzu. It says, know thyself first. Yes. And I know the enemy. Mm. It now says, a thousand battles, a thousand victories. Hallelujah. Think about it. Mm -hmm. Know thyself, know thy enemy. A thousand battles. Oh, you will have a thousand victories. Amen. Amen. So I believe that combination of knowing yourself and knowing the enemy mm -hmm. will grant you victory mm -hmm. in life's battles. Amen. So how do we what can we tell us about the enemy? Mm -hmm. I believe by the names, just by his names, you give you an insight of the enemy that we're dealing with. Number one, he's called the tempter. Mm -hmm. The tempter. You know, Matthew 4 3. And the tempter came to Jesus. So what does it mean to tempt? means to seduce, to means to incite. Mm. Something that was already taken as forbidden. Mm. But the tempter seduces you and says, you know, it's, it, it now becomes fun. So you begin to look at something formerly looked upon as forbidden now becomes fun. Wow, it's okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that means you're being tempted. Mm. So that's one of the things that the devil does. He's mm. called the tempter. Also, he's called the accuser. He's always accusing us before the Father. He Bible says in John chapter Job chapter one, verse nine to eleven. He says, "Yo, does Job serve you for nothing?" He mm -hmm. says, "Let me at him. Let me t let me strike him, and you see that he will renounce you." So mm -hmm. he's called the accuser of the mm -hmm. brethren. John, John, John uh, um, Revelation chapter chapter twelve, verse ten says, "The accuser of the brethren is always accusing you." And so that's one of his names, and that's one of his uh, insight into his character. Also, he's called the deceiver, mm. to deceive you into believing the wrong thing. Mm -hmm. You know, it comes with his lies. You know, mm -hmm. where right now in an age of called the Antichrist age, mm -hmm. where he presents Antichrist means against Christ, opposed to Christ. Mm -hmm. It also means another Christ. Another. So we have this cause of people all over the world bringing another Christ. It's because, because we are in the spirit of the Antichrist that's moving. So people get a wrong, a wrong picture. Not the Christ of the Bible, but, but another, Christ. another Christ. Something that looks like it. Yeah. Mm. And they, so, some have got some come, you know, followers. But it's because we are, that's, that's the spirit of the Antichrist. That's what's going on right now. Mm. But, so he's also the deceiver of the Antichrist. He's also called the liar. The and he's a liar. John eight forty four. It says, He's the father of lies. There's no truth in him. If he tells you you're no good, tells you you're going to die young, he tells you your future is bleak, don't believe any of that. Mm. If he tells you all oh, your life is gone, no, don't believe any of that. He mm. is a liar and the father of it. Mm. 
and thank God for the truth. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank God because Jesus Christ Christ, I am the way, the truth, and the life. He said, yeah. I've come that you might have life. Mm -hmm. And so I believe the truth. So the other thing is I I call it, it's called the devil. It means do evil. <laughs> <laughs> I like that connection. Yeah. Do evil. <laughs> yeah. It, 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 puts, it wants to put evil mm. upon you. Mm. So we need to know the enemy that we are up against. He, he is wicked. Mm. Wicked means no mercy. You can't say, oh, the devil have mercy upon me. No. He's mm. out as an onslaught. Mm. To, to go for full extinction and destruction of a person. And so you, you don't show it he has no mercy. You can't you can't say, Oh, devil, you've 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 given me a bad time enough. How that's you know, <laughs> give me a break. No. no. Mm. You can't have peace to him. He's wicked. There's no there's no mercy in him. Mm, if if he gives you a reprieve, it's because he's planning another attack. Mm. So we need to be aware that the devil we are up against. Know your enemy. Know your enemy. So but I just believe that having known this, what what it's it's what we know is tactics mm. that really makes a difference. Mm. The tactics mm. of the enemy. Bible says mm. he comes to steal, to kill, mm. and to destroy. Mm. I don't know about you, but he comes to steal. What are the things he steals? Your joy. He steals your, your joy, peace. puts sadness. Your children. Anxiety when it steals your peace. Your anxiety. What else? It wants to steal your relationships. Your relationship. Even your fellowship with God. He steals it. He don't he doesn't want you to be able to come before him and do what you normally would do. Or service. Even your service. He comes to steal all that. Yeah. So uh three things I just want to leave with everyone today. Mm -hmm. Um number one, he blends with he blends in and he doesn't stand out. Mm. When we talk about knowing the enemy, number one, he blends in and he doesn't stand Come out. Like yeah, he, he masquerades. He masquerades <laughs> and comes out. Bible says he masquerades himself even as the angel of light. Mm. Second Corinthians chapter 11. As an angel of light. That's 13 mm. to 15. So he could masquerade, masquerade as an angel of light. So that's why he, he, you're not going to see a devil with two horns and a red suit. You're never going to see that. No, because graphic artists draw that. But if you look for a devil, you're not going to see him. He, he's going to blend in. Mm. And it could be talking through people that you know. Mm. So he blends in. That's what I guess that's why he talks about how Jesus recognized him in Peter, who had just said, You are the rock, and from this foundation, and better be. And here comes Peter with another thought. And then Jesus says, No, get behind me, Satan. Matthew 16. Oh, Matthew 16. And that's 21, yeah. He said, get thee behind me, Satan. He said, wow, he was telling Peter. <laughs> he said, you do not serve all the things that be of God, but you only serve all the things of God. I think that's how we can also identify in anything in us that makes us to want to pay more towards the things of me mm. rather than the things of God. Mm. Maybe there's a involvement. I'm just using yeah. it. Because if he told him you can't serve, you don't serve the things of God, you serve more of the things of men, maybe pleasing men, being happy. Then maybe you are trending towards his side. I mean, that's why. Yeah, you know. yeah, that's that's very true. So that's why number one, I guess the point is that it can blend in, mm -hmm. and so when it blends, it doesn't stand out, and it could be caught, talking to you through the voice of other people. Mm -hmm. So that's number one. Number two point is that it comes through ideas, thoughts, mm -hmm. and suggestions. Mm -hmm. Ideas, thoughts, and suggestions wow. tells you, oh, did, did God really say? Mm. You know, are you sure? So many times in our thought life, mm. we need to be careful and discern. Mm. Also, the spiritual man judges all things. Mm. There's, yeah. there's a, a spiritual man will be able to discern. Mm. Ah, that was a thought from hell. Mm. You might think, oh, it's just me thinking. No, 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 no. That was a thought for me because you see, thoughts brings emotions, <laughs> and so if you ponder on a thought and it's going to cause you to go down your side, that might not be a thought from from you, and don't be a thought from hell to steal your joy. So mm -hmm. that's why it's important for us to do what Paul, uh, Proverbs four thirteen twenty three says: guard your heart. Mm -hmm. And tell people, people, you are the gate guard. You are a guard on the gate of your heart. And so there's some thoughts that will not allow to pass through. Mm -hmm. 
Philippians chapter 4 and 7. It says, Whatsoever things are true, lovely, and good Think report. Think, Think on, on those things. Now, what if they are not lovely? What if they are not lovely? Then you, you move it out. Say, no, 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 no. you are not passing through my heart. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to dwell in my in your heart because the devil. I mean, think about it. If that day Eve mm had -hmm. said, no, 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 devil, don't stop whispering to me. I'm not going to be seduced. I'm not going to. You're trying to tempt me. That is a forbidden fruit. Mm -hmm. You would have you know, forbidden to it. Yeah, that's that's true. That's very true. So well, we do. We'll stop there today. Mm -hmm. No. The enemy. Amen. That's how to get a step ahead of the enemy. And when you can know him just by the names that he has a deceiver, a liar, uh, a tempter, you know, an accuser, oh, that's enough yeah. to know that that's the person that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. And one of the tactics is this ideas, thoughts, suggestions. Mm -hmm. So, Lord, help us. Amen. You know, <laughs> Sometimes, um, being in planet Zorg, like my <laughs> pastor would say, is when you think something does not exist. And I think a lot of us think it doesn't exist. But then overdoing it is to think Satan is everything. But we want that balance where we're able to know what, who the enemy is. Just like we want to know who God is. Hmm. You want to know who your enemy is. And who is even an enemy of the kingdom, an enemy hmm. of Christ, an enemy of we believers, Amen. and those who, even the world's enemy. Yes. So knowing that, you're more equipped to handle things. Especially like this idea of your thoughts, your ideas, your thoughts and mind. Hmm. So those things need to be in... Um, Balance. Balance. I mean, the Lord grant us wisdom. Amen. What do we want to say? Thank you for watching, and we look forward to seeing you again next week. Amen. Have a blessed one. There's another part two cool. of this topic saying, Know thy enemy. Amen. And we look forward to seeing you again Amen. next week.